countries. My name is Manasvi Gurk and today I'm going to speak on the Quit India Movement. Every picture has a story and today I'm going to tell you one of the Quit India Movement. This particular story takes place in 1942 when India was still under the colonial rule of the British. In March 1942, the British sent Sir Stanford Clippings to the leaders of India to ask for their wholehearted help in the World War II for an exchange of self-rule. The, he was refused because of unfair conditions thought by the leaders. And hence, Gandhiji realized that if he wanted freedom, that we would have to fight for it. And hence, on 8th August 1942, he said the words, here is a mantra, a short one, imprinted in your heart so that you can express it in every breath. Do or die. We shall fight for our freedom or die trying. We shall not live to see the perpetuation of our slavery. After this, on 9th August, the leaders of the freedom struggle, including Gandhiji, was thrown into prison. But this did not deter the people of India who were determined to fight for their freedom. They held demonstrations and had marches. Students from schools and colleges all over India held strikes. Mill workers didn't show up for days. The protest was quelled by the British violently. People were shot, villages burned and 60,000 men were thrown into prison. But this changed the character of the Indian freedom struggle for people of India. The British knew that they had to leave India now or they would be made to. Thank you.